Hey everyone, John here, and I've finished about a week and a half of my dough diet so far, and I was actually going to make a video after the first week of finishing it, but since a, a couple of current world events happened, I, I've been very scared and ve very anxious. But a lot of um, other people, um, they've put out... The, um, their own doll videos and it actually has helped me a lot in terms of coming to terms with a lot of things happening in the world right now and that there's still people I care about and they've just been good distractions for me so I figured that I should go out and make my own video hopefully as a distraction for a lot of you people because yeah it's a lot of uncertain things happening right now. A couple of things first, um, before I go into what I considered my doll diet. Um, like one of the dolls I ordered was this James Dean um, Mattel doll. And I'm so happy I got him. Like his face sculpt is amazing. Like his face paint is very James Dean like. And I think he looks very very cute and I'm so happy that I've been able to add him to my collection because I like I have a whole list of collectors um, 2000s era Kens that I really love and so it's good being able to like tick off another door off the list before I get really old I guess and yeah he's currently wearing a Twilight Jasper's jeans and shoes but his shirt is from a Cody Simpson like singing doll and yeah I think it really suits the kind of James Dean look so yeah I've also gotten around to playing a bit more with my articulated silkstone doll and I realized that a lot of my issues with her was that uh, Mattel really dropped the ball on making um refining the joints because when I started playing with it more I noticed there was a lot of excess plastic like all in the joints and everything. So I got like a really thin file and just kind of sanded it all down until the arm felt more comfortable to move. And her knees also bend a lot more as well. And I guess putting dolls in the right outfit for me really makes a huge difference in how I view a doll. Because I put her in this doll's Ahoy dress and it really matches the colouring really well. Like, it looks modern, but it also looks very classic as well. And I guess that made me really love her. So yeah. With those things kind of out of the way. Um, for my doll diet, I have been trying to sew a bit more for my dolls. Because um, I've been adding more male dolls to my collection. But I've had no clothing for them at all. So it is nice being able to kind of sit down, go through my little patterns. And being able to... Um, just sew something that fits the kind of look I want for my dolls. And so, yeah, this is my Ben Leg Allen with the click knees. And I always really wanted the vintage um, Ken in Switzerland outfit for one of my Allen dolls because it it's very stereotypical, but I think it looks very adorable. Um, his shirt, I think, is a, um, is a different kind of vintage Ken shirt. Um, that was available as another outfit, but since I got this like very dirty, very ratty, and I had to sew on new snaps for it and everything, I decided to pair it up with these um, lederhosen. Um, the lederhosen is just a very basic pair of shorts, and then I sewed on red ribbon, like to make up the outfit. The socks are made from actual socks because I can't find any in-scale ribbing um, from the fabric store that works for dolls. So I always end up cutting up human socks for a doll. And the shoes are One Direction shoes, but I think they really suit the look. Um, I had to hand paint um, these little details, and I heavily referenced the um, Ken in Switzerland later hosen. And I think it's a very good approximation of the outfit. Um, I do need to find really tiny beads to sew into these parts to make it look like buttons. And I think I might make him a little ha hat as well. Though the vintage version does have like a little um, mug and a um, sm smoking pipe, but you know, I think um I think it looks good on him so far because he's just been stuck in um, a do um do yukata yukata um 
for the longest time. So it's nice being able to put him in an outfit that really fits him. And yeah. On a related note, I did end up... I've So far, I've sewn about three things in the last week and a half. And one of them is this Ken shirt. Like, it fits like a lot... Um, the pattern I got for this, I got it from cutting up a fashionista Ken shirt and then making a lot of alterations to make it look more substantial. Because the um, fashionista's Ken shirt I cut up, um, it was barely hemmed around the edges and it had Velcro in the back. But I made it into a kind of working um, shirt pattern. And yeah. So, this is one of the three things that I've sewn, if you include the later holes in. And yeah, I definitely need to sew more Ken clothes, but I think this really goes with his coloring and that, yeah. <laughs> um, a couple of other things that I've been doing for my doll diet is finally getting around to projects that I've really been wanting to do. One of them is um, to reroute this anime doll head. She's a Princess Holy Up anime doll made by Takara in the 2000s, I believe. And I got her in a lot of dolls after someone gave me a bunch of Monster High dolls, and they included this doll in as well. And so after I put her on a Ever After High Maddie Hatter body, I really wanted her to have like a proper hairstyle. So I got the Maddie Hatter head, and then I did the tension rooting into it. And even though um, the hair is kind of short, I'm very happy with the length and the color. Because I really love this kind of teal color on um, this kind of skin tone and yeah I think it's very very like nostalgic anime-esque to me so yeah very happy with that. Another doll project that I've been putting off for such a long time is my Alan doll. I got his head in a trade with Pony Guru a while back I did a box opening with that and so I've really wanted to try giving him galaxy style hair for a while, but uh, every time I went to go to do it, I just kept telling myself, look, like, you can't mess this up, you can't mess this up. And I just got so anxious about it that like, I always kept putting it off. But since I was on a dull diet and that I wasn't, I didn't have as many projects coming in anymore. So I had a lot of projects I wanted to get out. So. That finally forced me to get around to painting my Alan hair to have galaxy style hair. And yeah. I'm very happy with the results. I was so inspired by Delightful's um, Galaxy Pony because um, it's a very simple process of making um, splotches of paint and just kind of blending it in all together then putting on um, the speckling of white dots using a toothbrush and then like adding little details like stars and comets and I'm very happy that I got to do this because for a while I've been doing a lot of projects that involve a lot of work a lot of like just like really huge concepts and it's just nice to kind of step back and do a really simple project that turns out really well and like not being upset that it didn't reach my expectations in my head. So, yeah. I'm very proud of him, and I'm very happy that I went ahead and painted his hair into a galaxy-style print. The big major project that I've worked on for the last week and a half was actually inspired by Dolls Ahoy, because cause even though I had all of these parts since I was about 12, 13, like, around that age, I've just had these parts for such a long time and I never really did anything with them because I never felt inspired to do it. Because ever since um, Andrea pointed out that the Happy Family Allen head looked a lot like the Tango Ken sculpt, I really wanted to make a brother for my Winky God Ken doll. Where he looks like this, he's very solemn but he has a very sophisticated kind of face paint to him and I've had him for um, 10 years now, and I've always kind of wanted to have a slightly more customized version of him, but I never, I can't afford to get another one of these. So ever since Andrea pointed it out, I, I've just been buzzing with ideas for my head, 
and so I ended up making this guy. Uh, he's a Happy Family Allen head on a Mycene torso and legs, but the legs, hips, and torso came from three separate dolls because I've used those other parts for other dolls. So I've had all of these parts just kind of bunched together. And the arms are Power Team, uh, the Power Elite Team dolls. Um, it's the third generation body with the extra posable joints and everything. And I used um, knockoff Hot Toys hands for him. So yeah. I've had all of these parts for like, yeah, for about 10 years now. And I never had any inspiration on what to do with it. But ever since Andrea pointed it out, I just felt really inspired to like cobble all these pieces together, like to make it work rather than actively trying to search for parts that would suit, I had to like cobble together things that I knew that I already had because I couldn't buy any more new stuff. And I'm very happy that I was able to do this because, because even though, because even though I could have just gotten another Mycene body and cut off the hands and put in new hands, I'm very glad that I went with like putting these parts together because it makes him really unique and I was finally able to use my Montana Gold spray paint in Linden Green on him. Because I originally got the spray paint to um, to body match a Fashionista body to my Wicked Witch doll. But as you can see, the skin tone is lighter than the Wicked Witch of the West kind of colour. And so I've kind of just had to... Um, can just sitting around wasting away but yeah spray painting it all together just really helped help to make it look cohesive and I'm very happy how how much I've captured the look of the wiki guard doll but kind of made it my own and the hair is from a Halloween mustache beard thing that I got from savers like last year and I've always kind of held on to it because I kept thinking to myself, maybe I should just make like a little wig cap for my Winky Guard. But no, I decided to use that for him instead. And I'm very happy that I did. Yeah, thank you again, Andrea, for really inspiring me to start on this project because I know that this doll has inspired you on your Alan doll. So yeah. So I still have a couple more projects, but I decided to split this up into two parts just so it would be easier for people to view. So see you in part two, I guess.